Okay, well, if you say so, but yeah, all right. I, I don't think you addressed what I was saying, yeah. but that's okay. How is it a sound philosophy to say that freedom of speech doesn't include protest, which is what you said during our debate, yeah. but but you cracking down or, or, getting, or saying that Trump is somehow tyrannical for wanting it to make to want it, for wanting it to make it harder for journalists to maliciously lie because it's no not his job it's not his job what it's not his job it's it's what not the job of not? government to define what the truth is and to tell us and this has nothing to do with protesting it's not the job of government to tell us what the truth <laughs> is this is this is what we this is what they that's like not what I'm arguing well that's not what I'm arguing I'm saying if someone if you can if you can prove without yeah. a shadow of a doubt that a that a, a journalist is knowingly lying yeah so knowingly lying yeah th that's different then what that's would you do what should the, you do if you know a journalist is knowingly lying what should you do not the president what should you do well no no I'm saying I can't do nothing as a citizen I can say well I'm not gonna read them anymore yeah Obviously, there you go that's something that's a free market solution I believe in free that's markets a free market solution yeah but what I'm saying is there's a lot of people who vote who are uh, pr predisposed to their own opinions, and they don't care if they're lying. You get what I'm saying? So, so the so, so, does, is so what is the role of government here? Lying? What should the president do? What should the president do? Yeah. I mean, it's illegal to commit fraud. Then that's selling something you don't have. Yeah. And, 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 and um, that's kind of the same thing. You're telling something you so know. So you want to give the government? In order, in I, order I, I get I get what you're saying. So you want to give? Now we have, by the way, we have libel laws. Which you can prosecute a journalist mm -hmm. if they commit libel, um, yep. and yes, yeah, so so we have the laws on the books to protect us from fraud, but you want the government to get into the business of defining when a journalist lies and when he doesn't lie, and going after them yeah. not on issues of libel but on anything. It, you know, if they lie about the earth being flat, or they lie about who um, who's responsible for 9/11, they the government should be allowed yeah. to go in and prosecute them. I mean, fine, but that's the end of liberty. That is the end of freedom. That is given, that's what the Catholic Church did because they perceived Galileo as lying. That was the excuse they gave everybody and they put him under house arrest and they silenced him. When you give, this goes back to my argument yeah. earlier, you cannot give the government authority over the realm of ideas, over the realm of what is factual and what's not factual, unless, unless fraud is being committed there is monetary damages, somebody has suffered, and then you don't need the government. Then that person sues the newspaper, and we have plenty of laws on the books that you can go after those journalists. But it is the end of freedom and liberty. When the government says NBC is a good, is a good network, no, sorry, NBC, Elias, Fox, which lies every single day. They're all liars on Fox. Hannity is one of the biggest liars I've ever seen in my life. Right. All of them are liars. Yeah. So Fox, yeah. they're OK. Why? Because in this administration, we like Fox and we hate NBC. The next administration, this goes back, loves NBC and hates Fox. So Fox are the liars. That is the end of freedom, yeah. the end of liberty. And that's where we're heading, because that's what Donald Trump is moving us towards. Now, 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 Obama started this. If you remember, he attacked Fox for lying and yeah. he was right. Fox at the time was lying. And he attacked them. Now, now Trump is doing the same thing, but Trump is doing it worse because Trump is saying not only are they lying and it's bad, but I'm going to rescind or I will consider rescinding their license. That is, uh, that is a threat of physical force from the government. That is the equivalent of physical force. That's intimidation, and it's the end of freedom as we know it. Everything you said, I agree with. But the reason I brought it up, I'm look. I hate it when Trump says fake news. It, it, it's ignorant. It's just like a talking point. What I'm saying is, if you actually dig into what he's doing, the whole reasoning behind it is because he believes they are maliciously lying, but, and it can but, be proven. But even that even, is not. But those even libel laws are strong enough. But Michael, even that is not true. First of all, libel laws are plenty strong. The only reason Donald Trump doesn't like the libel laws is because he's lost some cases where he's gone after people for libel mm -hmm. and he didn't win. So he thinks that he's such a narcissist. Everything is about him. But it's it, it, it's much worse than that because Trump lies all the time, all the time. Absolutely. So you want to use him as an authority to tell us who's lying and who's not 
Him as an authority no, no, to undercut the, the media? Authority. What's that? I want the courts to be the authority. Oh, fine. I would never so we got libel law laws. Law like if we've got libel yeah. laws, then then let's practice our libel laws. If, if you think that somebody says something that, that has caused you damages, which is what fraud and libel require, then sue them and go after them. And people do that all the time. Libel laws are used in this country all the time. There was that Gawker case. I don't know if you remember the Gawker case. Yep. Where, yep, where Peter Thiel, Peter Thiel funded it, right? And they drove Gorka out yep. of business. Gorka went bankrupt. Good. I mean, Gorka was filled with lies and they hurt people and people really suffered as a consequence. So an entrepreneur got together and they funded it and they went and they smashed them. That, the system's working yep. as far as I'm concerned. Now, the system is not working because media, there's no objectivity in the media. Now, I agree that NBC lies. It, it's more than just bias. They lie. And you, you can see it in the coverage of, of uh, uh, Trump is sending this stuff on Obamacare. They lie about what he's doing. They lie about the consequence. Yeah. It, it's just horrible. But Fox does the same thing. And Breitbart certainly does the same thing. They lie about immigration. They lie about a lot of other things. Absolutely. So I'm concerned about the lack of objectivity in the culture. I'm concerned about the mm -hmm. fact that we as consumers are not sensitive enough to to uh, to differentiate between truth and falsehood that we're not fighting for objectivity and not fighting for the truth the last thing in the world i want is for the government to get in the middle of that because it, particularly this government a government filled with liars yeah. the government of the swamp in in donald trump's terminology because he is the mm. swamp he is the biggest swamp than anybody else in washington dc for them to get involved in deciding what is true and what is not, what is acceptable and what is not acceptable is, again, that is the end, of the, the, uh, the end of freedom. And look, if all that happened is Donald Trump said that and it would go away, then so what? It doesn't matter. It's, yeah. just, it's just the president yeah. talking. But now what we've got is a Democratic president, Obama, going after the media, a Republican yeah. president, Trump, going after the media, and expressing the tool that he would use against them, take away their licenses. What's going to happen when the next president comes along and is really pissed off at the media? And what happened to the yep. American people's sensitivity to these issues, right? Sensibility about these issues. They've now been primed to accept the idea that it's okay for the government to decide which media outlets are okay and which are not. That scares the bejesus out of me. I will walk back that point because you are absolutely right, and that's a great argument. Well, I will I appreciate walk back that. to my second question, absolutely. I still think you're wrong on the first, but uh, that's fine. I, I love talking to you. I, I love mean, talking to you. Thank I, you for I, taking my question. I encourage you to read. Let me, let me encourage you to read something. Uh, Ayn Rand's okay. uh, Objectivist Epistemology. Mm, I haven't read that. So yeah, yeah Introduction to Objectivist Epistemology. Because she talks there about how we form concepts and how we get concepts like uh, happiness and suffering and, and how we build up to them and what's the relate, how do you think about the relationship between concepts? And, and, and let me just say, mm -hmm. I, I respect the question. I think it's a good question. And it's obviously a question intelligent people are, uh, are struggling with because you're struggling with it and Jordan Peterson's struggling. I don't think either one of you is an idiot. Um, but, but well, thank you. <laughs> I, I don't believe that, um, happiness, that, that suffering, is more fundamental than happiness. I think the pain is, I think the pain is, mm. but but pain is on the same level as pleasure. Pain and pleasure are the the other things that we experience, and then we build from them abstract concepts. But okay, I need, I really need to move on. Thanks, Michael. I really appreciate I, I the call. Appreciate you taking, I will read what you said. Thank you very much. Excellent.